time. Ah, yes. Once again, it's the boss podcast that is. You know what it is, Philly. What the fuck? We everywhere. Sleeves the hustle all day long here to get it the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? To the break of dawn. Period. You know Sorry, what I'm saying? Stop. The militant one, a.k.a. Brother Byron. And watch out for Byron Evans coming soon. Know what I'm talking about. Mm. Brother to the right of me all day long. Bucket low. How it go. Sky Ray. Ty in the building. Dread on the pan, best in the builders. Andy up his ass about some shit, but fuck it though. Who cares, man? You know what I'm saying? We sipping and we back at it, the boss, man. Shout out to Philly Cigar Week. You know what I'm saying? It was a pleasure doing that with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Big John, Pat, the whole crew, everybody we met out there. You know what I'm saying? Salutations, man. What's up, boss? Oh, what's up with you, man? How you Yo, doing? speaking of that, um, I looked into the. Um, the brims by Andre, the hats by Andre. Yeah, yeah. Artistic brims? Yeah, yeah. Them joints price. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Four, five, five hundred. Yeah. But, but listen, listen. The authentic wooden brim, like. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a one on one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, that'd be like a Christmas present yeah. to myself. Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, That's how I looked at it. I was like, yeah, yeah and on the low. Like, like some dice on it. Uh, you never know, man. Either he said it like a thumbprint on it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I was thinking about like, I ain't gonna hold you. I was thinking like maybe like some joint that had some type of like royal blue in the mix. And then I get the logo popped on a joint somewhere on the brim or something. That's the thing, like, you know, it makes more sense to just. Reach out and see what you can get created rather than picking something off the rack since you know. Oh, yeah, I gotta like, sit down yeah. and talk with you about yeah, this, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Figure yeah. it out. Next time you Shout out to our testing friend, you need to be uh, properly dressed. Yeah, you know no, yeah. factual. You know what I'm saying? As it should be. sure to match. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's up, man. Yeah. So, what's been going on with y'all? I mean, you know, happy Same to be stuff, here, man. man. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy you guys are here, too. Yeah, hey, man, happy to definitely <laughs> be here. Uh, you know, the world is crazy as always. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. a lot of craziness. Which yeah. one do you want to start with, though? I mean, listen, man, we can go to missing people that ain't missing, <laughs> that's supposed to be missing. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, like on CNN on, and, on, and all that stuff. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can go there with her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can get, listen, we can, get, we can cut back to that. Fuck all that, because we... That would be the righteous, generic way to go about it, to uh, set off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we the podcast boys. We, 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 we don't do that shit that. like that. So, you know, we can hit them with some shit like, you know, why are we not calling them vaginas no more? Why are we calling them bonus hoes? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, that's just how, that, you see, that's sleeves. That's just how I come, yeah, yeah. come left field with it. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to catch on. So, so, so let me go wait, to wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Bonus hole is a thing? So, health professionals are now being urged to call vaginas bonus holes to avoid offending trans or non-binary patients. Yeah, thoughts. It's in, the, it's in the same lane as chest feeding. If you don't remember, like, maybe, like, last year or two years no. ago, they wanted to eliminate the term breastfeeding because you have people who feed have babies ways. and don't have breasts but still feed from that area. So How? What do you got? You call it chest feeding. And, uh, How are you feeding, feeding from your chest and you ain't got no milk coming out? Man, I can't explain it. I don't know. I'm just saying what they want to do. Be All called. right, fair enough. Right on. Right <laughs> but on, right yeah, on. But, it, it, but chest feeding hasn't caught on either. And I highly doubt that a bonus hole. Come on, that don't even sound like That doesn't sound like some shit you know that happened I mean? recently. Like, like, they just got them. It sounds like, like part like of a game. Like, you know, I got the ball in the bonus <laughs> hole. Yeah, like, that, like, you know? yeah, like, it's yeah, not. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a, the proper medical term or, you know, right, you know, know be a proper like, alternate medical yeah, term. Yeah, like, you, you know what I mean? You should have said, like, hoo-ha. Or something like that. What are you called? The hoo-ha. Why? That's called doing too much. Bonus. That's one of them. I mean, I can see a whole porno series about bonus holes. Bonus holes. Bonus holes. like a thousand. Volume one. You know what I'm saying? So volume 75. Black in the bonus hole. Exactly. No, oh yeah, do you want this? She ain't gonna be saying you want this pussy. Or you, want this <laughs> you want this bonus? Hole? Yeah, baby, you want this Yikes. bonus hole, don't you? Uh, that's so weird, man. I mean, you know, as we age and new things become, you know, the trend to just seem weird. But this is outrageous. This is way yeah, different. Yeah, like, yeah, this is like, yeah, it is. A lot of shit has been going way mm-hmm. to the left field, man. I think people are just testing limits now, trying to see what'll stick, but. I don't see. I I I've seen a lot of women who are opposed to it. 
You know what I mean? So, it makes no sense. Shut like, up. No, no. That's the I term. Have a, I have that's a what vagina. It that's what that's I'm period. calling it. That's what it's been for. I, but so, beginning would of the time. you say that this was done in effort to protect women's feelings? Or no, no, no that's it. it. Trans no, are like, like, women are like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's what I have. I take pride in that. You know what I'm saying? It's the source. Call it a bonus, and that's not. It don't even sound good. Yeah, you better take pride. I appreciate y'all that take pride. It doesn't sound good. Like I was saying, I wanted to go vagina and thought about how he would. Feel a Who wants to go from right. vagina to bonus hole? It, yeah, just, uh, nah, it, sounds, yeah. it sounds real frat. Yo, listen, dog. You know, you know what I'm about, to, like? I'm about to go get dinner after we get dinner. We going back to the crib, and I'm getting all that bonus hole. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't gonna believe how I'm about to tear this bonus hole up, girl. Oh, right. You dig? Yeah. So yeah, man, you know, that's the world. Not work. So, but, but bonus implicates like something extra. Like yeah, like I'm supposed like this is extra. Saying, like, this is an extra hole for me. Like, yeah, like, like, I would have thought that'd have been the, the other hole, but you know we're not going there. This is a righteous show, so we don't need to go there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's righteous enough, man. Because it's righteous enough that so, I'm like, like the ass would be the bonus hole. Is what you're saying? Yeah, you know I'm saying. You're not like yeah, don't tell nobody. You know what I'm don't saying? But you know we we rate on that same mm-hmm. wavelength. She gave up the bonus hole. Okay, <laughs> you nasty. I hope you washed up after. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ching, 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 ching. Nigga had a milky way. Oh, you know wow. what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm, yeah. yeah, I know. I took a turn. Yeah, yeah you know, it's just right. factual. That's yeah. all. You so, scared it there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to change speeds uh, from one crazy. Speaking of bonus holes. Yeah, exactly. So if you can't have your bonus hole, mm. guess mm. what? If you're over in Italy, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, talk about that. You know, if you're over in Italy, man, feel free to know that you can grope for 10 seconds, but 10 seconds is the is the, the max, max, basically. Anything else would be a crime. 11 seconds, you go. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So over in Italy, they have passed, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Seven, eight, Hey, man, get the... Nine. Oh, all right. <laughs> hey, officer, I right. can't say nothing. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. saying it's like back when, when you watch pro wrestling and they got a five count and the ref get to four and they just be like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna. And then they go right back and doing it again. So, like, you can theoretically chain rope as long as you give yourself a one, two, three, four. break in between. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's that ain't cool. Things, who, so they, they, how the, is that real? So, yeah, no. So, judge in Italy says groping is only a crime if it lasts more than 10 seconds. After a 60, 60, after 66 year old groped a 17 year old student, <laughs> A judge ruled that it wasn't a crime Whoa. because it lasted le- uh, less than 10 seconds, was BBC it, News reported. Was it because she was, or he or she, or was 66? So he assumed that it's a 66-year-old male group and a 17-year-old female? We don't know. know. We don't know, but okay. we're going to assume it's a 66-year-old It sounds like some creep female. shit. <laughs> mm. But either way. But I mean, is that real? Like, or, uh, That's just one judge's opinion? It's not like some kind of... Countrywide law. No, I, it, it's certainly yeah. not that, but it's, 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 it's for a whatever part of Italy like yeah. to point to yeah. Giuseppe right. versus yeah, yeah, yeah. the you know what I mean, yeah. and, 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 and saying that well, it happened for him. I'm just oh, over. Oh, I'm oh, just oh, over oh, here, oh, right behind this joint at the bus station, right on the ass and shit, like on the little motor scooters that they be. With my clock, right? Oh, alright, I got nine. I'm out of here. Yeah, right. It's probably old. Be talking in the air, like, don't worry about the grope for ten seconds. Shut up, my dear. Yeah, we're already at seven. And then just walk away. Is that no, how to stop? We go back. Just be going just, down the block doing just that keep shit. Just take a That's second. Just be right. going down the block each corner with a joint like yeah. Uh-huh. The new rule is gonna be like, well, you are gonna see old people getting shot or tased because they just think that they can grope people. It's not like, a crime. Like, no, no, yeah. It's just, well, I guess it's not a crime if I stab you. Mm-hmm. And, 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 that's and that's what will come to it. Basically getting slapped up or shot. Yeah, because if it's not a crime, can you defend yourself? Oh, absolutely. Now, somebody come on you. Balls. Listen, dog, you know somebody I mean? come on you, put your hands where you ain't supposed to. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. You ain't going mean, to have to here, if somebody kind of cost you like that, you can definitely defend yourself, push them off. You know, it's a sexual assault. But in Italy, obviously, according to this judge, it's not yeah. like it's under. Yeah. Wow, fam, you can't. can't work. Yeah, no, you, you can't. You just got to take the group. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You got to hold that. <laughs> Walk that off. <laughs> He's got to shake it off. You got to walk that off. Like, hold up. Was I just at the bus stop and the nigga just was feeling my ass for 10 seconds? Hold up. No, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not a crime. It's not a crime. <laughs> yeah. Wait till I finish. Eight, nine. Uh, like, somebody going to nut in seven seconds and then they're going to be like, oh, see, you gave me too much time. Now we got to change it to five. It's like, it's just, Where do we go with this? Mm-mm. How does this shit come out? Dangerous. What that is dangerous. Mm. I don't know. That's crazy, though. Oh, you know. Yeah. It's fucked up. It's funny. I was just talking to one of my coworkers, and him and his girl going to Italy. That's, you know, oh, like, no. Oh, watch out for gropers. Right. Girl, man. They're going to get some girl to yourself. Wee wee. 
<laughs> Welcome to <laughs> our city. That's what uh, I'm saying. That's not even the time. Exactly. That's <laughs> okay. Like, Welcome. I'll see you later. <laughs> Wow. I guess the French, I guess like the French. Bongiorno. You know what I'm saying? Bongiorno. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Wow. What they call it? Uh, have a have a Bella Sera. Be a child. Have a, a child. Exactly. Right. Have, right. a, have, a, have a Bella Sera. That's a good evening. You know what I'm saying? Right on your ass, man. Damn. Mm. It's wow. funny. It shows how you think about French people. Yeah. yeah They're just idiots. Right. <laughs> well, wouldn't this be Italian people? <laughs> They're Italian. See, you were talking about some wee wee. Oh, shit. Oh, right. Damn, you're right. I don't know. It just sounded better in my head. It did. We yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody know Ty don't like the French. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I don't fuck with French fries. All right? You know what I'm saying? I eat cooked taters. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. What that's we got true. next, that's man? True. We done went around the world a little bit. So, like, you know, last week, um, we had uh, the whole Usher, Kiki Palmer thing, right? Fuck. Okay. You remember that people were saying that Kiki, well, some people were saying that she was out of line, and the way she was dressed was inappropriate for a mother, and she shouldn't have been all hugged up on Usher, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And we also know that if you've seen Usher's performances before, he tends to go and pick out certain women in the crowd, and he'll serenade you. And, and he ain't doing nothing different from Teddy P and them niggas back in the day? Teddy Pendergrass used to have the ladies only concerts. Ladies only concerts, yeah. <laughs> so I like it like this. I said, this is great. Would you, would you show me? Positive. Somebody else to sing for me, huh? Come, come on, it, it, it won't rub off. But then again, yes, it will. Would you, would you please? Just, you forgot it? Or just sing whatever comes to your mind? Would you say that again in the microphone? Boy, oh boy. Um, that's a big guy you got right there. I'll tell you, what's, I'll tell you what she said later. No, it's so good, so good when somebody loves you back. Okay? Okay. So good, so good, so good when somebody loves you back. Turn them off and throw them panties. You know what I'm saying? Set the, and both happened like that. Son. Exactly. Set the clips, right? And you saw where Teddy Pendergrass was going down to women in the crowd and they would kiss him. Mm -hmm. Like the women actually came and kissed Teddy. Teddy wasn't all leaning in. I mean, this is different With the, though, with the chest hair out. Yeah. Black man with the wait, chest wait, hair wait, out. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Shut up my dark sneaks. Go ahead. So, <laughs> so the women were all kissing Teddy in the face, right? Yeah. And they there with their, with their boyfriends or their husbands mm -hmm. or whatever. And then I sent you the other clip with uh, Millie Jackson. Yeah. She was just mm -hmm. grabbing dicks. And she mm -hmm. was just, yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't see it? Oh, oh no, yeah, no, no. Back in the day, I remember that joint. No, she was going around. She had a, she had a song called "Let Me Feel It, Let Me Grab It," and she was literally going in the crowd with the mic. Get over here! Mm, I don't feel nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. He got more than you got. He got more than you. You know exactly. Hey, man, crowd participation. That's an entertainer right there. Okay, get him, Yeah, dog. Like, so, this been going on forever, man. Like, they showed a joint with Bobby Brown damn near picking the joint up, flipping her on the stage, doing my, my, my. You get what I'm saying? So It's a different time. Like, But this still is a part of it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, like, you can't do, you can't get away with the same shit you can get They have been, Scott. To an extent, like, I mean, like, this is also Teddy P times, man. You had to do the host and family feud that would make out with every bitch on the yeah, side, like yeah. intimately kiss yeah. these chicks yeah. until like every season the boy uh, Richard Dawson. Yeah, yeah he'd be giving them a kiss. Hey, hey, lip kiss. Yeah. A couple. And it go down the line. This your mother. 
Mm. It's your sister. Mm. It's your daughter. COVID. Like just COVID. Like, like you know, like you know, what I mean, can't nobody get like you will get maced. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's shit. Twenty two. So like you know, the rules is different now. You want to like, get on my yacht? You want to go to Italy? <laughs> but so, out with these. Oh man. Wow. We can grow, we can grow up all night. But go ahead. Well, I want to ask you, right? <laughs> Are you are you asking for it if you take your girlfriend to uh, yes. a Teddy P concert? Uh, sure, not Teddy yes. P, but I'm if not you going. were taking them back in the day to a Teddy P concert or a no, Usher you're not. Concert, you're you're a dickhead. If you take your husband to a quote unquote uh, Millie Jackson concert or something like that, are you kind of are you saying in some way, shape, form, or fashion that I'm okay with that because I'm I know how I should get it's down. Two, he it's might two, it's two, it's two, two, it's two edged sword. No, like it's two, no, no, no. It's two edged sword. No, because I'm about to tell you, this guy, is yes and no. All right, the no. Is that all right? You booked it, but you got decent seats where they not in the front where you can be a part of this shit. Well, he can move anywhere he wants. Yeah. Dog, but still, no, it's still different. I, nine I, I, times it's, it's like, like, a I, show, yeah, like, like, yeah. like nine times out of ten, it's a circumference, my nigga. Mm -hmm. That's and it's the people in the front that's who gonna get dealt with nine times out of ten. Let's just be real here. So that's one. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, if I went all the way where I got the VIP access. I done got the front row, John. You know what I'm everything. saying? All that for her, because I'm trying to look out. This is my baby. She really loves this nigga. Listen, I'm offering her up. I'm offering her up. Like, listen, <laughs> I'm just it's, what you just said. I'm offering her up. It's an experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, she right. about to get the full experience. And, oh, if he grabbed my bitch, it just is what it is. He about to, you know what I'm saying? What's the joint? Oh, 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 oh my god, like popping the shit out of her on the joint, you know what I'm saying? Like, you saw him getting prepared to jump and shit. He popped it. Wait, what happened? You know what I'm saying? I felt, I felt him. He got the rollerblades. He be rollerblading on these bitches. He be doing all that shit, man. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, concert? Fam, the Vegas, the Vegas show, he got the rollerblades out most of the joint doing the moves on these hoes. Like, dog, he's different, dog. Like, yeah. Just entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course it's entertainment. Is an entertainer, you know what I mean? She knew the cameras on her. She's right. putting on a show. You know what nah, I mean? dog. Just pause. Kiki Palmer grew up loving Usher. Mm -hmm. That shit was okay. real. That's different. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, this ain't no average. Oh, I'm an entertainer. Well, I'm I gotta put it like You know so, what I'm saying? Let me this ask. is me. I, I, I love this nigga. I'm at his show. Yeah, let I got see through shit on. I feel let, this let, ass. Let me, let me just ask one question. Go ahead. And I would be curious. Like, this question would determine whether or not the yes or no means something. If Usher like approached Mrs., you would let it go, or no. you would do something. No. So no. then the answer is no. Like if if you are in the front row, that you still shouldn't feel like you're obligated to participate in this unless you wanted them VIP as dude because he's never going to let uh, some shit like that happen. Yeah, where the fuck do you all? think you're going? Oh, I already know. Stop. Uh, what the fuck you think you're going? It's a whisper too. Like no, whispers and shit. Say, sing to me, nigga. Sing. To me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like no, oh, but, I'm, hey, but, but, but before him. But no, I'm talking about. I'm with. It start. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. But I'm talking about before that. I'm talking about before he even hit Usher. I'm talking about if his. No, nah, I'm not saying she would. This is just hypothetical. See, that's important if, too. No, no. Walk, walk with me. If your whiz was acting super Joe, like, and he like come up, oh, yeah, and yeah, she yeah, like, yeah, 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 this nigga be like, say what? <laughs> yeah, where the fuck, the fuck you think you going? You know what I'm you saying? You embarrass me like that? Is that the show? You like, bring uh, like, you embarrass me on TV? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you, I mean, Junior. Obviously, that's not. Survive. <laughs> Your <Yo, laughs> <man>, mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think yeah, I think if yeah. you if you go and like you said you get the tickets you do the front row and all that at the Usher show and you know your woman is attractive woman fine whatever like that I think you kind of do open yourself up to that so you can't you ask really, for the VIP treatment you, you, you might get it like, like you, you might get front row same seats, like at the comedy like show front row seats doesn't yeah. give you the, so the, the, the pause yeah. you in the front row of the comedy show you're going to get you, yeah that's, that's it. it's a chance it's, it's a chance. first three rows of comedy yeah. shows yeah you on deck nigga we uh, okay but your material all words. Yeah. But like, no, this is gyration. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's, 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 a, there's a clear line. Yeah, it's not oh, oh, but, but, A comic talking shit at the couple yeah. or Usher going down and giving lap dance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, no, no, I hear that. I hear that. But, you know, it's all about pride, ego, and all that shit being affected. And you can definitely have your joint crushed at a comedy show, too. Of course you like, can. Especially if you don't laugh. Yeah. Yeah. You try to be that boy, and it's a very skilled, talented comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, ruin your whole night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You expect that there where you... You shouldn't have the expectation that your your significant other is subject to right, right. I anything mean, I mean, physical. I mean, I mean, That's I mean, what I'm saying. So don't you think it plays a part in 
that couple too and that right what kind of woman is she yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's knowing your lady I, I, I forgot, yeah, you know right. what i'm saying that's absolutely knowing your lady i forgot the name of who it was whatever it's still the usher concert whatever and Usher came up was about to say money bag yo girl oh she jumped money bag yo girl i forgot you know what i mean and she, and she was she wasn't with the shits yeah like you know what i'm saying she pushed him off like yeah know. like no nah, i'm no. cool i'm just here to watch you and enjoy you but like i ain't with them yeah. i ain't with the shit because so listen for you, you're fine. You're married. Like, you already know your wife. She knows you. You ain't got to worry about that shit. You can go there and enjoy it. But somebody, let's just say, like, me, Tom, even you, Scott, you got it. You, you know, you and your lady been together, what, close to two years now. But, like, that would be, like, some test shit. Like, because you don't know where the fuck she at. Where You get what I'm saying? You know where she at one level, but it's like, all right, let me take her to this fucking show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I was she really fucked. She, really, she, she really fuck with this really shit. Yeah, she really fucked with this ball like that. Yeah, let me see yeah. how, how much she fucked. She told me about all the usher posters she had on the wall back then. Let's flip the script a little bit. What if you know your 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 whiz, your girlfriend, whatever, was a big usher fan? You know what I mean? This is a one-time situation. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to talk about being disrespectful, or whatever. But you want to have your lady enjoy. There's an argument the that moment, that whole you know act is disrespectful. Right. Yeah, I mean, I look, look, because I, I was going to talk. On she ain't got to get on stage, sit back here no, and enjoy the fucking joint. That's it. But no, he, he also that. ain't got to be out in the crowd on her. Either. All right, but school, but my bitch, if she righteous how she need to be, bitch, you listen. Right. All right, yeah. from the wow. brick. <laughs> if, if, if no, listen, dog. She not with you. Will not. Ever. Listen, ho. You ride home. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, you know, ride. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So listen, you ain't doing that shit. I don't, don't got to do that. I just got to. The crib getting mad. U S H C R. Scott, Scott, it's just, it's just a reach over. It's just a, it's just a reach over in the air, real quick. Bitch, you feel embarrassed? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, everything. You know what I'm saying? Jackson used to do also. Got me saw a video that that. Yeah, but that'd be her dancers and people no, no, like no, that. No, 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 listen, listen. No. Jenny used to have a, a motherfucker strapped to her, whatever. Yeah. You know, I mean, can't touch whatever. And she used to get on top of him. Somebody right. from the crowd? From the crowd, yes. So I that's the flip. Say. That could be a single boy, but, that's but I'm not going to be there with my shorty or a girl or nothing. Right. I'm, yeah, not no, I'm not getting in that chair. I'm not disrespecting. That's, yeah. that's just that. I'm just saying it. It's so what? So, I mean, all right, so I'm about to be a spectacle. I'm about to be a spectacle right. for because five minutes for five minutes or less, and then I'm about to fuck up the rest of my night and the like, rest of my relationship I'm before, not, for I'm a not, lap dance from Landon. I'm not, Janet, fuck no. I'm not leaving with Janet. I got to deal with the who I'm leaving with. Yeah, for an extended you could have been time. the it's biggest not, Janet Jackson fan your whole life, and your wife knows that, so she take you to the show, and she's even cool with you getting on stage. But I guarantee she's gonna regret it when you get off the stage. All rocked up, yeah. From Janet Jackson grinding and grouping on you. Unless she into that type of no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Nah, she hold on, but she would be like, no, no. That's a different conversation. She might like that shit. But you know what I'm saying? But no. Part of the pleasure of of that he didn't got. Everything he wanted. Because at the end of the day, like, we know you're not sleeping you know, with her. Most people ain't like this that. Been agreed no, 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 this would have been agreed This would have been agreed on prior yeah. to the concert. Yeah. Everybody would have been you on the same page. You couldn't get a home owner on Jazz. Right, right. right. Yeah. You know, like, if you got the type of woman that encourages that type of thing, you already know. Like It's not going to be a surprise while you're in the middle of a month. But if you know she don't like that You know this going in. You know both ways how it should play out in the head. What if she tries to surprise you for your birthday? You don't know where you're going. Y'all just show up at the at the. Then you know how you need to play But I don't need to get on the chair. I'm not the boy getting on the chair. Pass it off to the next boy. You done brought me here, got me front row. Wait a second, wait a second. If Janet decides to bring you up to the chair, you're going to say no? Yeah, fuck okay. you, bitch. Uh, like, it's all right. Jackson. Right. Uh, nah, nah, nah. It's, it's all good. It's I mean, the level nah, where nah, I'm nah. at with my John. Like, yeah, I, like nah, no, nah, I'm being very honest right now. If it's somebody I'm dug in with and I, we, in, I'm not doing that. But it's like second or third day. Fuck you, bitch. I'm going up that's on that. Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, that's Jackson. Or Jackson. Or if it's agreed you know upon on the ride up there, yeah. like that's said, you talk about a pregame and everybody know what could happen. Yeah, yeah. No surprise. But I'm saying you have an understanding with your shorty, whatever. You know what I mean? Like you, you know, you ain't gonna never come across Janet Jackson, or whatever. This is just a moment. Dog. You know yeah, I mean? I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool with a. Uh, Listen, I don't want, I, I want to. I don't want to nobody. I don't Shut want the world up. seeing my personal lap dance with Janet and her getting off of here, and I'm blue balled out. Like I'm straight. <laughs> I'm gonna walk that off. Like no, nah, Janet, I'm gonna give you a real yeah, ball. Uh, so, right, and that's behind you me. know, there are people like Tommy who's like, well, I'm only gonna get a lap dance like, yeah, yeah, I once. I kind of think so, he's gonna lead. He's right into it. That's yeah, why yeah, he's yeah, pushing yeah, it, yeah, and he's doing it. I mean, honestly, I won't give a fuck. 
Yeah, we know right, you, you that. Know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it, my lady is not, not going home with whoever tank or whatever, whatever I'm saying. She's coming home with me. Whether she right. had a good night and she might fuck the shit out of me. There you go. Because there is that take. <laughs> and see, you are not alone mm-hmm. in that perspective. Mm-hmm. See, I would say, I, you know what? The flip is, is, right? You don't never really know. This whole, I'm taking my lady to this concert. It's a test. If Tank likes your lady, and your lady like Tank, she a huge Tank fan. Tank is like, why don't you come back? Oh, Tank, Tank, Tank did your she, favor. She you violated. Should, you should she be sending Tank a thank you card. You know, like, absolutely. You know, listen, made it listen, crystal listen, clear. Listen, that is the last listen, day listen, me and her hang out ever. And you like, a fool if you keep fucking with her. I'm like, 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 IG. Shout out to my bitch Tank. You know what I'm saying? You exposed my bitch as a whore. And I thank you for that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if your lady goes with that situation, then yeah, then that's an issue. No, I'm Salutations to Tank, man. I hope you buy it. You know what I'm saying? Fucking right now, exactly. You only got it once. That's fucked up. The crazy yeah, thing is, she thinks she's coming back to the crib and all her shit out front. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's a crazy thing. Like you know what I'm saying? In a tank, a I little tank, water I, tank. I don't, even, I don't, I don't like the, the whole like I've had a crush on this this person for so long, so I should get like these uh, pass. pass. I don't like the precedent that that's that leads to an orgy. Because who else do you have a crush on? I'm supposed to give you a pass for like, where does it stop? Yeah. 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 Oh, I had a crush on him back in college for so long. Or yeah, I had a crush on him since we were talking about just, So we were just talking on the phone. We ran into just talking about you regular coffee. people and you talking no. about entertainers and yeah. you, you, you going. That's just like that's like the same people that go to strip clubs with they with they mates. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Mm-hmm. You, you know, they just here for entertainment. I mean, some people are into that. You know some, I mean? some, some, some people are into that, you know. So yeah, it is what it is. Good topic, man. I know. Oh, we, so know, exactly. we know, we know, we know. Tommy getting on stage with Janet Jackson. Period. Oh, yeah. I'm getting on stage. With Janet yeah. <laughs> I don't care who I'm with. I told you, it's just the level of where we at. I don't care who I'm. It's the level we at in the relationship. If somebody I'm dug in with, nah, I'm not doing all that extra shit. But if it's but like the at, first, at, at the end of the day, though, you know what I'm saying? My lady's gonna know me. And like Sky said, that's a conversation up up to the concert and before the concert. Like, right, yeah. you should be you having this conversation once and acknowledge you have tickets. Yeah, like everybody because be we thing. know what the show brings. Yeah. That's such an awkward you know conversation. So y'all just in the car driving, everything quiet. You got a little Jay Jackson playing in the background. You like, you know, if she called me up on stage, I'm going on. I'm going on <laughs> that joint. How you feel about that? But like you said, you know what I'm saying? But seeing it in the flesh. Yeah, you don't have if to you buy a certain. See a certain ticket that you can. Yeah. You put yourself you, in position. You can't be part of the show. Like I just said with the example, if you buy the VIP well, why, why package, you, buy t- you bought the ticket to get a full experience for. If you buy the whoever. VIP package, yeah. that's what you see. I got you open for. Like you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm you backstage, walk. you got front access, all that. Like yeah, dog, you you open for that. You susceptible. So I say, got I got front and back access. So, yeah. so, so pause, 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 and back and bonus hole. Pause, pause, bonus hole access. Pause, pause. We ain't say all that. Yeah, yeah. It's, safe, it's safe to say the consensus is if you don't want your significant other being uh, grinded on or groped on or <laughs> whatever, don't buy VIP uh, tickets and don't sit. In yeah, don't get the whole room. experience. Couple rooms. Right, I guess, man. Yeah, period, man. That, 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 that's that's, that's it. Shit. Fuck that, man. Nah, we, 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 we out of here with that Damn, one. balcony seats, yup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and enjoy them. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Can you handle that? Yeah. Go there with you. Yeah, exactly. That's wild. Set it off, folks. You know what I'm saying? All right, you want to uh, talk about the uh, Carly Russell? No, I mean, you know. Or, you know, uh, well, I had another one. I mean, uh, if you want to talk about it, we can save it for later. Yeah, man, Carly Russell, whatever, man. We know about that crazy hoe. I'm saying, what we got? It's, uh, it's not. It's not that simple. We can't just. We can't just brush under the So talk, talk about. It. Right now, yeah, man. It's, you brought it up. Let's go. So anyway, Carly Russell. If you're not familiar, she, um, well, she <clears throat> claims that she was abducted a couple days ago. She said uh, she saw a baby walking on the side of the highway. So she pulled over to check the baby out, and then some people abducted her. It's supposed to be like I guess a dude with some red hair, and he was balding, and he had a woman with her, and. Um, I guess according to her statement that she gave to, I'm not sure who who she talked to. I don't know if it was the police or the FBI or, or I don't think it was FBI, or maybe Georgia Bureau of Investigation, somebody like that. One of them, according one to of those statements, me. yeah. So she said she was abducted by some dude with red hair, and I guess they put her in, and a woman was there, but she didn't get to see the woman, and they put her in a truck, uh, eighteen wheeler, and then I think from there they went to one some, of them rednecks, so to one of, to a house or something like that, and then um, they made her strip naked and she said they took pictures of her. You see your titties, girl. And then they... God damn it. Yeah, they... Uh, then he, and then we only want to see that bonus hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, will be, this will be a serious moment. Oh, man. Anyway. Go ahead. 
Yeah, but Nick said, only like the bonus hole. Period, <laughs> bitch. You better show it. So anyway, she said they made him take pictures of her, and I think she, they did something with her fingernails. I don't want to be nails. Something wild, and one of them was I want to do hair. your nails pink, too. Yeah, and they, she said that they just fed her cheese. It was like mm, you know, 48 hours. these cheeses, and, and was, let me see your bonus hole. She was Come on. missing. Long story short. I'm sorry. Long story short, the, the update on everything today is, is that prior to the investigation, she had some searches, some Google searches that are a little suspicious given Suspect. her current predicament. Okay. So I think she was searching like Greyhound tickets, one-way tickets, <laughs> uh, do you have to pay for an Amber Alert? Uh, <laughs> Wait, let me look on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So they do their investigation and they check the traffic cameras and they don't see any any toddler on the side of the road. Nobody else stopped to pick up a toddler. Nobody else called Nobody's in and mentioned anything the about toddler. this. Yeah. yeah. So it's a possibility that, that, that this shorty was lying. So when she came back to the house like two days later, they have ring doorbell camera footage of her walking calmly, they say, through her neighborhood. And then as she got closer to her house, she kind of started running. So right. it kind of looks like it. So we don't know because the family and Carly haven't given, I guess, a public statement yet as to mm -hmm. what happened. So some people are saying that maybe she made it all up. I don't know. Maybe she didn't. Maybe all this stuff really didn't happen. We're not going to know until she gives an official statement. It, it has hoax vibes. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it has, what's that? Jose Smollett, what's his name? Oh, Jesse uh, Smollett. <laughs> Jesse Smollett. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesse Bottom Smollett. line is it got Fugazi vibes to right, it, man. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? We are able to, smart enough, wise enough people to peek through holes in the story. It, it sounds fishy. Normally it stink like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I mean, what it is. and it's not, I don't, you know, I don't know. She hasn't given an official statement yet, so I can't say that she's her not telling the truth. going to be fucking I don't, I don't know. I can't say that, you know. Me. She, she, maybe she did get abducted and all this crazy shit. Crazy, crazy things can't happen. Bitch, you're going like, to break some more down to me than Ray and all weirdos. this shit, man. That sounds like. she managed to escape? Who? I don't know. I don't man, know. Man, that shit sounds sound like thing. NCIS or some shit like that, man. The crazy thing is that if she is lying, it looks bad because, like, you know what I mean? Because black, people, black women are getting abducted. There's tons oh, of them missing. Yes. You've used all these resources. Trafficking like, is a $34 billion, like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, dog, it's not nothing to play with, dog. Like, they're doing kids yeah. and women. And so I know the like story the sounds wild, wild, but it got national attention, you know, which right. black yeah. women don't typically get when they go missing. At so, all. Right, right. It's kind of like, So, on, we don't want to fumble this is. one. Yeah, but like, at the end of the day, fuck it, man. If she did do some bullshit, so be it, man. This ain't the first. It's unfortunate. You get what I'm saying? I'm hoping yeah. she didn't, but if she did, fuck it. It's one of those situations, if you pray for her safe return, just be happy that she got a safe right. return. Right, I mean, at, at, at its bare minimum, this is uh, some sort of mental health cry. Mm. Yeah. Has underlying things yeah. that her and her significant others and family need to work that together. That you had to come through with this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And if that is the case, then it's unfortunate that it took this type of... But, you know, like a lot of people... Go uh, people are stupid, like, though, because... It's suicide, for, you know, when they just have a mental breakdown, so at least she went about it in, if, mean, if it is If it this. is a mental breakdown, right? right? You're giving her a bit of a doubt. But uh, if it's not, like, I mean, come on, it's 2023. Like, if you go missing, people and people care about you, they're going to blast it on social media, and it could pick up uh, steam it, and go, like, national. It could go outside of your local area. With, just like, like it Just did. like this story yeah. did, you know what I mean? So it's like, come on, now you're embarrassing yourself. But if you're, in the, if you're in the midst of a mental health crisis, you don't do it. You're not thinking rationally. Family yeah. ramifications, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's yeah. if you're actually having a mental yeah, health crisis. Yeah, I mean, well, you would hope nobody of sound mind would pull well, up. Well, yeah, like but this. no, sound or mind means you just crazy. Value you what, what, but it could be sound mind crazy dickheads. They're out here, too. Yeah, there's speculation about other reasons as to why she may have done this, and they're really aren't good reasons as to why. Part of the country was this again? Uh, Georgia, wasn't it? Was it Alabama? Yeah, oh, it's one of the middle states where yeah, they all yeah, fucked yeah. up anyway. So yeah, it's cool, God man. Damn. It's crazy, man. It's all crazy. That's Alabama, not true. Man. That's, That's not true. Yeah, yeah. Niggas be on some wild <laughs> shit, man. Alabama be on some wild <laughs> shit, dog. I know. I done right. drove through but and been it, through, it, nigga. But look, the fishy, the fishy part about it is, is that if what she says is true, <laughs> And that means there is a duo, a male and a female out there, who are abducting women and possibly have a toddler with them that could be in danger too. So when people want answers, but it's heaven, you can't you know, fault them for that. It's like, you know, you know Scott, this sounds like true detective. Around, missing, yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? That's like, toddler, like one of them, like a McConaughey. That's what, that's what, that's what some people are saying. It's so next month, somebody turns up and they're like, my toddler been missing for the last six weeks. And people yeah, <laughs> shit. Yeah. She wasn't lying. Right. You know? but, or somebody else says some crazy bald head dude with red hair tried to abduct me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
And they held me prisoner for a couple of days and gave me some crackers and then they let me go. Like they, they're wild. Like I don't, you know what I mean? Like, so. Right. Maybe maybe the entitlement she saw was like a, a diversion to lure somebody into being caught. It was like some mechanical. Yeah, what the real time? Like, <laughs> it was a my buddy dial or something. <laughs> the side of the mm -hmm. route. Rubber yeah. Ducky. So. I don't know, but it had a lot of people upset because even um, even my wife was upset. She was like, "Oh my gosh, you know, being a woman is just not safe. If you see a baby naturally, yeah. you're gonna want to go and help the baby. Right. It's a baby. I feel like that's anybody's inclination. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, if you drive down the road, it's like night, boys in the hood shit. Yeah, keep them the babies road. out the street. <laughs> little baby on the side of the road. It smell as bad as you do. Yeah. Like you gonna pull over? Like, Yo, yeah. baby, what are you doing in the street? You know what I mean? Just so, but. Yeah, that's why. So we gotta wait for her. I hope yeah. I hope she gives an official statement sometime soon. But if it's truly a traumatic event, and like you're saying, she's going through a mental health crisis, you can't expect a statement anytime soon. But no, it's wouldn't. natural to be curious and want yeah. more facts and details surrounding the story. It'll be on like the ID channel or some shit once mm -hmm. people get to the bottom of the bottom of it. Give it a two years no, it's or so. It's definitely gonna be an ID story. That's what I'm saying. Like, but uh, you know, in terms of a statement, I guess it depends on. What's owed? Like, mm. does does she have an obligation to give? I mean, I don't like, know if it's a crime. I mean, I don't know. She called in. She called well, in. You would need to figure to out what all oh, evidence right. points to before yeah. we. Start. They say no, yeah. that didn't happen. You're lying. We'll have any footage. Any. They of this got stuff. the nine one one recording. She yeah. talked about the and then like screamed and yeah. then disconnect. So. That's just that's, crazy. That's, that's a lot of plan. Just sit back and watch it unfold. Why, why for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, listen, dog. Everybody got their own. Right. Life. Just because we don't know the reason, don't mean it ain't one. Yeah, exactly. At all. It's, it's, At it's, all, man. It's mm -hmm. always some shit, man. And and sometimes it be, you be thinking it's gonna be bigger than what it is, and it be like the simplest, dumbest shit that motherfuckers did that shit over, dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So oh. I saw my aunt do it years ago, and when she came back, she got money. And they took her to the buffet I've been wanting to go to. Mm. What what? Is off of, I'm just saying, what if that's her reason? Oh, damn, wait a minute. Niggas I thought he was ready to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just saying, like, what, what if they broke that shit down so yeah. casually oh, and shit? Like, yeah, my people, me personally. My people's right. had that shit happen. We ate yeah. some buffet, yeah. nigga. What if that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the whole country buffet. Right. right. Yeah. Exactly, nigga. Damn. Gold <laughs> Corral. He did all this for, 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 for some smorgasbord? Shit, you just asked for it, you know, but. All that for some fried shrimp. No idea. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do you have any other topics? Well, any anything over your time? I mean, we didn't talk about a lot of stuff. I mentioned earlier that how the NFL and just got all different. Where running backs is getting treated like third class citizens, mm -hmm. making less than punters on average. Whereas, you know, we was kids. That was like the top dollar thing, man. Yeah. Barry Sanders, Emmitt Smith, yeah. the, the bell cow running back. But you man. just named top dollar running backs, though. This but it's true, still, but, I mean, it's you still top down, dollar. It's top dollar niggas right you now. You can go far down yeah. the '80s, '90s list in terms of top dollar running backs. That didn't get a bit. What's going on now? Where Christian McCaffrey is making money, but he's like a hybrid, you know. You and that you was like two years ago. Between the tackles, three yards, and the cloud of dust ass running backs. So is it safe to say that running backs are definitely more lucrative for your team, but they're not as they are also more disposable. There's nothing lucrative the about them. They're well, no, no, no. What he's saying is that like. In terms of they're valuable for the team because they can get him for cheap. Yeah. So yeah. from that and, perspective, and you know, yeah. if you got a running back, and he's one two good seasons, he can draw the crowd and you yada yada yada. But they're not as um, you know, kickers are harder to come by. Well, there's a durability issue because you can make an argument that running backs five you know, years on the downs where they carry the ball is like That's a mini player. It's like a mini car. No, no, five years. No, five years, no, years, five years, years for running back. Though. Running back it's not an NFL player. Five years, especially running backs. Normally have a five year, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I mean, good to great running backs have that. Like, that's not an average of like I think every running back. Not like, every. I'm know, talking. I thought that I'm was not, like an average listen, NFL listen, players. When I'm speaking about five, running backs right now, I'm only speaking five. about. I'm only speaking about top tier, dog. I'm not right. talking about your second, third string running backs. Yeah, yeah. Your, no, everybody your, your, like no, 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 no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about that was a top tier when he was in his time. So somebody like right now. Like, they be talking about the ball from the Raiders, Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. All right? Like, at this point in time, he led the league in rushing. He been balling every year for the Raiders. The Raiders may be regrouping this, that, and the third, but they ain't spent no money on a quarterback, which was in Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo, Garoppolo yeah. which ain't shit. So you got money that you can pay Jacobs. Yeah. He's worthy of, of getting fucking paid. He put numbers up. They ain't even offered him a deal yet. Eagles got rid of Miles Sanders. With no doubt. Get cheaper yeah, exactly. running back. And more and more conventional. So, I mean, is a running back surplus? 
They easy it's to not that. By. They just don't. The problem is now. But they have to be easier to come by if they don't. It's not. Need a, to no, pay them. it's not well, that. So kind of because what what you would want to do in most scenarios is just maximize their rookie deal. So you you use them out while they're young. So they are easy to come by, and that you're not giving a shit about an older one because they're about deal that they're, they're getting like if they if they, if, they, if they went in the first round, they one of them top tier boys. They get at least get three. Third three getting a multi crazy nice multi million dollar deal, but. You're still getting that multi-million dollar deal, still comparable on the cheap. You get what I'm saying? And then basically from that deal, they performed how they needed to. That second deal, the second, the second deal, second and count, you know, second and third especially contract. Especially wide receivers nowadays yeah. and cornerbacks. That's when they get their bread. Obviously quarterbacks. quarterbacks too, like yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But uh, but all those positions we named, D line, they're not fucking with yeah, they're not fucking tackle. with the running back like that no more. So like Saquon Barkley. For prime example, I'm not a Giants fan. I'm an Eagles all fucking dead. But, <laughs> you know clear. what I'm saying? Let me make that clear. But I'm not going to sit up here and fraud like Saquon Barkley ain't a magnificent talent. And he ain't earned some bread that he's right. supposed to get. And they only looking to try to pay him if he paid with, well, what is it called? The franchise tag franchise or something like tag, that? Yeah. It might be like 10 it's mil. The franchise tag. The franchise tag is you get paid for one year. The average of the top five paid running backs in the uh, top five players for that position, Mm -hmm. but only for one year. Mm -hmm. It used to be when it first came out, players wanted it because it meant that you would be getting at least one year of the pay of uh, average of the top five players in the league. But now uh, teams use it to keep players that they don't want to give a long term contract to. Period. Gotcha. And they'll keep it because there are overwhelmingly more potentially broke NFL players than there are like long-term wealthy NFL mm-hmm. players. So whenever they get down to a strike, the, the have-nots overwhelm the have so they would capitulate and sign to whatever the owners are going to ask them to sign way longer than an NBA, especially a baseball strike. Like baseball, they get guaranteed money. That player's union got them by the nuts. They won't do anything <laughs> uh, that they can't do there. But NFL, you know, they can't sustain long enough because people ain't got money. They get broke fast, you know? Like, yeah. So, so basically, they ain't, they still ain't offered the boy Saquon money, all right? Derrick Henry, like I said, at the end of the day, the Titans suck, but it ain't because of Derrick Henry, all right? He done, he's doing what he for needs years. to do. He's been doing what he needs to do for years. Get y'all quarterback and them weapons around them together. You get what I'm saying and all like that, but it's not on him. They ain't offering him no money. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like I'm producing. It's not a situation where, like, we already know. I ain't trying to be that boy, but I'm just going to be that boy. When it comes to all these leagues, the NFL is still, like, in the 300, 400-year slavery process. Run where it's those, like, exactly, <laughs> period. You get what I'm saying? So, with that being said, your argument is that I produce, master. Mm-hmm. All right? You know what I'm saying? And I've been producing. But guess what, nigga? We ain't going to pay you because you ain't that valuable to us when we look at it. When we look at the bottom line on the business level, when we look at your position, we don't look at it as what it was 10 years ago, even five years ago, three years ago. You get what I'm saying? Somebody like Shady McCoy got a check. You get what I'm saying? He got some checks mm-hmm. out of the NFL. You get what I'm saying? If he was here playing now, no. Them checks ain't happening the same. Baby. Yeah, mind you, the Adrian Peterson, the Shadies of the world, they're the upper 1% of mm-hmm. running backs, period. But even the upper 1% now ain't getting what they used to get. No. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's a different time. They, that, the value on that position, uh, what's his name? Le'Veon Bell had a tweet where he said, I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be trying to teach younger kids a position other than running back to play now. Mm-hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? Just on the strength of how where it's valued and where it's at now. So, yeah, man, it's a different day. NFL getting order. Pay them boys. You know what I'm saying? Pay them fairly. And we talking, we're not talking about the second and third tier niggas. That's the third down running backs. We're talking about your star running We're talking about yeah, your, your prime time players that have earned it. And to play running back at the NFL level. Especially the Saquon. And be, and be, no, fam. Saquon is the star of the Giants, you know what I'm saying? When you think of the Giants, you think of Saquon. Right. When you think of the Titans... You think of Derrick Henry. Right. All right. These boys is putting their body through hell 
to be in the best top tier shape to go up against these big burly motherfuckers. And what the Giants eight. do? Give yeah, quarterback a shit ton of money. Right. Cool. That ain't Fresh. shit. <laughs> I'm, 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 that ain't shit. They did, you, though, you know like, what I'm saying? You know, for our sake. Yeah, like, no, nah, like, for like, Eagles purposes, good shit, Giants, mm -hmm. but on this mm -hmm. the real life shit, y'all ain't, y'all dumb as shit. Like, are you kidding me? You gonna pay him and you're not gonna pay yeah. Saquon? Like, yeah. yeah. Out of pocket, B. Yeah, man. So, you know. Running backs might have to go on strike. <laughs> but they would just replace him. Yeah. So, yeah, they don't really have a, a leg to stand on, unfortunately. But we see how it goes. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, say for me, I don't know if it's just because mm. I'm I mean, listen, man. If you didn't know, it's the podcast, boys, man. You know, we've been doing this thing for about uh, X, Y, Z, five years and counting. And um, we're only getting bigger and better. And what I want to do is take this time out to thank you guys out there for your support all through this. And what we have coming for you is a motherfucker because we're going to be stepping out on different things because it's deeper than this podcast. We're fucking creatives, all right? So we got some shit for you guys, you know what I'm saying? I just want to put that out there for you guys because we're going to be bringing you different things like we always do, but this in different fashions, and we're looking forward to it, man. You know, um, if you didn't know, we're every fucking where, all right? That's the slogan, and it doesn't stop, you know? That's from uh, your YouTubes to your Instagrams to your Spotify's, you know, iTunes, books, uh, what is it, uh, TikToking, you know, all that, all that good shit. All platforms, basically, that's what they normally say, but we're every fucking where, you know? And, oh, but hold on, uh, before you go, because we got it here on the table when you say that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Make Let Go ahead, brother. Make sure make sure y'all go and check out uh, Sense by Sharif. You can follow them on Instagram. This is just some beer bombs from Incense that the fellas have. It's made not up. just. No, it's he tried to downplay it. Well, well, it. I'm just saying that, that because there's more items than the, the, the beer bomb from Incense that you right, see right but, here. But, 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 but this, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this so, particular yeah, yeah, yeah. beer bomb. It's, it's the best incense that money can buy. Exactly, but not only that, but hold on. Some of the best beer bomb. Listen, it's, it's beer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain beer. something to you. You already see the salt and pepper, but do you see Sky Reed's Pie May beard over here? All right, like you get what I'm saying. Where do you think he got Pie that from? May. You get what I'm saying, Mister Handsome. You understand what I'm saying? Beard and baldy bomb. You understand? Yeah. And if you cashmere local, cocoa butter, everybody, God damn. That's everybody's favorite. You know what I'm if saying? You're, if, you're, if you're local, you can stop by Philly Shared Space in Bullet Grove Mall, and you can ask for Sense by Sharif, and we have a section in there. This is actually uh, my wife's business that she lets me participate in. <laughs> Listen, so you can go what is he talking about? It's all family. It's all Sharif's. You know what you I'm saying? I mean? You it's see support, the face on the beard? The you see the you see the beard? That's my face. You know what I'm saying? That's his face. Period. You understand? <laughs> support black business, man. Since by Sharif, man. Podcast balls, man. You know, everywhere, man. Sleeves the hustler all day long. You know what I'm saying? Stop Sharif in the building, man. The militant one, aka Brother Byron. Watch out for Byron Evans coming That's soon. You know what I'm saying? All day long. Sky Reed, bucket low. <laughs> Logan's finest, you know what I'm saying? T.Y. on the emblem, all that good shit, man. Dread on the pen, got his funky pastel shit on, he always killing it, but he wants some other shit with that Joel and B shit. Fuck but I love him still anyway, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man. That was just one more chance to be petty. He ain't had yeah, to do that. That's Listen. What, that's why I told him fuck him. Bro. Guess that what? That's your chance to be petty back. Guess what? Like You're talking to the fucking petty king. Peach and blue, you know how the fuck we do. See y'all on the next go round. The balls, the horsemen, we everywhere, baby. <laughs>